Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a panel. Let's say this is a facade module panel or shading system. Uh, I want to use a four-point adaptive component family in Revit. And I'm going to use Dynamo to expand this over a vertical surface. So let's start by the family. The family I want to use is uh, new. So I'm going to go to new families. I'm going to go with family templates, and I want to go with uh, English. And I'll go with metric, generic model adaptive. So this is the family I want to go with, metric generic model adaptive. Hit open. For today, I want to use meters. So I want to type UN for units under length. I'll go with meters, three decimal places, just so I'm more comfortable with meters. I'll go to my reference level. I might go with WT, so I have my two views side by side. In reference plane, I want to draw some reference planes. So RP is for reference plane. Let's say I want to pick the line and I want to offset by one meter. I want to offset the central reference plane to the left by one meter, right, up, and down. Hit escape. I want to create some reference points, so I'll go with create, reference, and I'll select point. I'll keep this on draw and face, and see the order I'm going to use. I'm going to go with one, clockwise, two, three, four. The order of the points matter in this practice. Uh, these are reference points. If I select them, if you draw a window from left to right, it only selects the objects within the window. I'm going to make them adaptive. Uh, these are four adaptive points. Uh, a, an adaptive point always have to be a reference point, but a reference point is not necessarily adaptive. So after you create the points, if you want, you can get rid of the four reference planes. I just wanted to have a base. In either of the views, let's go with connecting the points using reference spline. A uh, spline works a little better than line, so I want to go with four splines. Reference is on, spline, uh, drawn face is on. Go from point one to two, right click, cancel. Two to three, right click, cancel. Three to four, right click, cancel. And the last one. Okay, then I want to hit escape. Now, if you select the surface, you can go with create form. Uh, you can select uh, the surface, and I'll just go with zero. I'm assuming that this is just a very thin panel. You can always assign a thickness if you want. Then I want to go with reference point. I'm going to continue with my void. I'm going to need four points, which are reference points on the edges here, but they are not adaptive. So I'll go with point, reference, point element, I'll go with drawn face, and I'm going to click here, 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 and here, hit escape. If I select these points, see that I have the point a little bit towards the bottom of the length of the line 1 to 2. If I click on it, it comes from here, normalized curve parameter. If it's half, it's going to be quite on the center. If I go with 0.25, it's going to jump to a quarter of the length. But I want to assign it as a parameter. I'm going to just uh, click on here, where, click on the point where it says uh, normalize curve parameter. Cl click on the box in front of it, associate family parameter, create a new parameter, and I'm just going to name it as ratio. It's the ratio of the length. Uh, I, I want to set it as instance. Why? Because if I want to change this value using Dynamo, Dynamo only accepts instance parameters to change. And I want each of them later to have a different ratio. So if it's instance, by instance, it's going to allow me to do so. OK and OK. Uh, for your information, this parameter is always between 0 and 1. 1 means 1 length. So when it's 0.25, it means it's on 25% of the length. Now I'll continue with the rest. Let's say this one, the second point. I'm going to assign the same parameter here. Normalize curve parameter. I'll assign ratio. 
you don't need to create it again because we already created just select it and the last one here I want to go with ratio now I also want to go with reference splines to connect these four so the first one to the second one right click cancel second to the third right click cancel and keep going right click cancel then I want to select uh, this line when you click on it it's going to go with the chain of walls and this time from the drop down menu I'm going to make it a void uh, I, I forgot to hit enter so create form void form hit enter once and then click somewhere else that's all I need okay if I put this unshaded or something here you see how it works I can assign material how about I select uh, if I select um, how about I do this? I'm going to select everything, go to filter, check known, and I just want to select generic model, okay? So it's selecting the surface where it says material. I'm going to go here, create a new material, and I'm going to put a material here. If you want to change the material in each of the panels, it needs to be instanced. Otherwise, I'll go with the type. Okay and okay. Okay, so now we have two parameters material and ratio and just double checking if I hit tab here just to select this object yes material is assigned as a parameter let's save this family I'm gonna name it the I'm gonna just name it panel I'm assuming it's a shading panel I'll go with one back up here okay and okay uh, maybe I can close this now we need to load this into a project so I'm gonna go with home create a new model I'm gonna go with a default metric template uh, let's see if I go with here default metric open ok and you can load this into project and maybe close it uh, now as soon as you draw four points it's going to draw it within those four points but uh, for the rest of it I'm going to actually use Dynamo so I'm going to erase this family it's in the model uh, in the model I might also change the units to meter three decimal places uh, so in Dynamo it reflects meter so I don't have to put three extra zeros in front of everything okay now I'm going to open Dynamo I'll go with manage Dynamo. Uh, I have already generated a Dynamo file uh, which I have called uh, four point adaptive code. I'm going to provide the link to that video in the description of the video below so I save some time here. So I'm going to assume that uh, we, we have like a row of these uh, objects or modules being repeated. So I created this set of grid in uh, Dynamo Again, you can watch the uh, video, which the link is going to be on the description to see how I created. Then, uh, now that I have this code, as soon as I assign my panel family type to family type and hit run, if I go here in Revit, you see that I'm going to put this on shaded. It developed those set of families uh, within uh, every four points that I have created in Dynamo. Now the part that I want to talk about is how we can manipulate this ratio uh, which we defined as instance, that's why you see ratio here how we can manipulate this ratio parameter through Dynamo For your information, when we define material as a type it's going to be available that parameter under edit type but if it's instance, it's going to be in properties here right so let's say I have I'm gonna see how many of them do I have here I have nine I might go with one more so it adds up to ten how do I do that in the first settings if I have eleven points along the x-axis the span between them would be ten so if I put the grid on eleven by two I'm gonna end up with ten by one modules which is ten modules right so for the rest of it uh, I'm gonna uh, go with set parameter by name these are just some elements how do I change the parameter I'll go to my menus Revit under elements under 
element again. I'm going to go with set parameter by name. So these elements would go there. And the parameter name is a string. If I hover the mouse, you see it says string. I'm going to right click, bring a string. In the string, I need to type ratio, which is the name of that parameter, exactly as I have there. No typos. And if you have the first little caps lock, go with cap letter. This goes to parameter name. Now, if let's say if I assign right now 0.1 to the value, the ratio, if I hit run, for all of them is now 0.1. See? If I change that to, let's say, 0 0.35, 35% uh, of the length is going to change the whole ratio. But if I want each of them to be different, I might uh, go with a sequence, right? I'm going to go with a sequence instead of this code block. Right click, type sequence. Right now, the sequence, uh, actually, I have this on manual. I'm going to change this to automatic. I'm going to assign this to the value of the ratio. And we know that ratio needs to be between 0 and 1. So I'm going to say the step size is 0.1 instead of 1. So my settings would be between 0 and 1. And I don't want to start from 0 because then it's going to be a whole big void. So I'm going to start by 0.1. Uh, and actually, I want to go with only 9 panels. I'm going to change this from 11 to 10. So we're going to end up with 9 panels. Uh, if it's 9 panels, then I can also assign uh, number 9 to the amount here. Now it's going to go from 0.1 to 0.9, actually. So now if I connect this list to the value, the opening on the first module, the ratio would be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, all the way to 0 0.9. So let's see it here. Now that it's, uh, it looks kind of like if it's uh, rotating each time. Feel free to assign material. Uh, material can be assigned right here under edit time material. I'm going to see if there is some nice wood material that I can assign. So I'm going to go with... Uh, some wood material. I'm going to go to my asset browser to see what kind of a wood we have. So let's look at these uh, wood panels. Maybe I'll go with some options here. We have walnut. Uh, if I double click, it's going to assign it. This is not too bad. This is how it's going to look on appearance on graphics. So I want to check the box for use uh, render appearance. I want to hit OK, hit OK. And uh, feel free to um, assign a different material or so. I'm just going to close Dynamo. We are good with the Dynamo part. If you want in Revit, if I go to South View or so, uh, we have the same stuff here. I can move this a little bit further away. Uh, you can continue working here. Like I can copy them uh, a few more rows here. I could have done it in Dynamo or either Dynamo or here, either way is fine. Uh, if I wanted to also change the material, like go with uh, light color wood and dark color wood every other uh, panel, I could have also assigned the material not to a detail, but as an instance, and I could have changed it through Dynamo. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.